what's up y'all thanks for tuning into my channel so this is going to be a channel message for today all right so if you haven't already subscribe to my channel join the golden tribe where we are the true alchemists all right so today this is going to be a dream channeled message okay so let's just get started so in this dream right it was a kind of a long dream and a lot of things happened i don't remember everything but in the beginning um i was in this place with these i don't know it felt like family because um they just all looked like me and um i think my sisters were there or something like that in the beginning um but it was definitely it felt like family but it, there was a lot of like older people that i've never seen before but their energy felt very familiar to me so i was like helping them and stuff like that and it's like they were we were like really vibing you know what i'm saying like they they love me type shit or they like in the dream like they really loved me they were really like caring for me there was an older woman she had offered me like a piece of dried fruit um and i don't remember what it was but i remember like tasting it i, I ate it and it felt like it was i've never seen this dried fruit like in in my reality before so i took this piece of dried fruit and um i ate it and it kind of tasted a little bit bitter but it also tasted a little bit sour but it also tasted sweet so i don't know what this fruit was this dried fruit was it didn't have a seed in it either like it's like it was pitted it was like a pitted fruit so ate it um later on in the dream me and my sisters we were all like i don't know where we went we went somewhere right and it was like we were had we had to stay in like a like an airbnb it seemed like because it, i think it was other people that was there and then there was other people that i didn't know it, it seemed like our friends or something like that so um i had parked my car like on the street i had parked my car on the street and i wasn't sure how long i was supposed to park there like i thought i was in the cool like i thought i was good but um i woke up the next day in my dream <laughs> and my car was towed told my sister oh my car got towed she was like oh well you should have thought about that i'm not gonna help you da -da 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 -da. she started saying some really fucked up shit and that's the first time i'm really like talking about my dream in depth because i feel like this has something to do with you all as well okay um but anyways in my dream i remembered that i had money so i could get my car out the the lot she was like you're gonna have to hurry up because you know i don't know you, you, your car might have racked up a whole bunch of taxes on it sitting in the lot i was like damn for real like and it was like i was told to park there i was told to park there but you know i was like i understood i was like yeah like i get that's my car type shit but it's like the delivery of it all was fucked up so maybe there's somebody in your life right because i'm not saying this is my sister i don't know why spirit is showing me like this but you know i, I give my channel messages based off of my dreams you all are very loved by people people see you, they see your spirit okay they see how loving you are they want to help you that's natural for you okay there's somebody or people in your life that don't like that shit they don't like it i'm gonna sneeze i have to get out the house today <laughs> some people don't like that shit they see it they don't like it and they're envious of it they're jealous of it they want you to lose they want you to lose something they don't know that you can't lose nothing nothing and you'll always have the resources to gain more okay in my dream um i was trying to figure out where i could find 
where they had towed it. For some reason, I was back in Denton. And the thing is, this actually happened to me in real life because at a point there was a time me and my sisters, and my sisters, yeah, we were sharing a car. And me and my sister went to school together. We went to college together. And um, there was one time our car got towed. And the front desk told us, oh, we could park where we were parked at because it was a hailstorm and we didn't want our car to be smashed. So um, we parked where we parked, they towed our shit. And they were like, I'm sorry, like we can't do nothing about it. Y'all already paid for it. I was like, wow, for real? Y'all can't even compensate for the fact that y'all told us to park there type shit. But that's a whole nother story. All right, so y'all, yeah, that's also another thing. Y'all need to be mindful of who tell y'all shit. All right, double check certain things get like fact check i'm getting fact check some shit all right but i'm also like i said it's some people in your life that it's like it seems like you get things easily but no you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all have done a lot of work especially internal work to not be a fucked up person to heal generational wounds and curses all right to not be the same as the people before you or your ancestors you know what i'm saying to heal those ancestral wounds ancestral patterns that's work that's work too okay and some people they're not strong enough spiritually internally to do that and you are they don't like that shit they don't like that and they want to see you lose but guess the fuck what it's not happening and you'll continue to win in front of these people so let's see what the divine has to say what the divine wants to give us let me push this to the side because i don't want to Alright, so let's see what the divine wants to tell us about this energy. do you have over this energy for the collective what information can you give us about this energy for the collective right spirit what information can you give us over this energy so quickly <laughs> bottom of the deck is justice be impartial and objective stand up for what you believe Try to see all uh, all sides of a situation. You'll win if your position is one of integrity in that as well, okay? So it's like anybody that tries to see you lose, wants to see you lose, this is going to be taken up in spiritual court, all right? If it's not spiritual court, this is real court. You are in integrity, okay? These people were doing things maliciously to you. Let's see what card we got. Or they wanted fucked up shit to happen. We have the Knight of Wands, passionate, confident, charismatic restless events requiring immediate action trust your instincts stay focused a passionate relationship this is y'all y'all stay on the move y'all stay on the go and if and if anything or anyone is making you feel stuck and stagnant you need to detach from them okay these are people trying to fuck with your roots there's something about roots there's something about family so for some of y'all this could be family i'm getting some for some it's the people closest to you because in my dream, it was my blood, right? In my dream. But you've marked your, it's like you've marked your place here. You've left your mark. Okay, you've left your mark on other people. All right. Damn, y'all continue to go regardless. Regardless is what I'm seeing. Wow, this is the car that I'm talking about. So this is her horse. People wanted to see you stop. People wanted to end you. Stop your progress. Stop you from moving forward. And they can't do that. They cannot. They're being forced to stop. Okay? Let's see. Let's tap in a bit deeper. People are being forced to stop. Because they try to stop you, they're being stopped. But trust and believe. Trust and believe. Because what you put out is what you get back. You can't expect to get good shit back if all you put out is hate and wickedness. No, you're going to get that hate and wickedness back. You feel me? 
So let's see, let's tap in Great Spirit. What do you have for the collective about this energy, this Knight of Wands energy here? All right, I'm also seeing that um, somebody could be coming towards you because of this energy that you're in, or, or they could be in the same energy as well. All right, um, somebody's realizing that, and it's so crazy that the Justice card is out because I see like police outside my window. I'm telling you, the cops are always around, so it's like always protective, always protective. It don't fucking matter. Let's see, Great Spirit. What do you have for the collective about this Knight of Wands energy, please? We have the Chariot. There's something about moving forward, forward movement, just movement in general. The horses. What do horses mean spiritually? I need to look that up. We have Queen of Swords. Once again, that Swords energy, that Justice energy. Okay? Queen of Swords is Justice. Impartial. Queen of Cups. This is beautiful. I love that. I love that there's a balance of the heart and mind. This is y'all. Y'all are, are a balance in heart and mind. That's why you're moving forward. And that's why the divine is helping you to move forward. Okay? Nothing and no one can stop you because it's all God. See these people? Liars. Cheaters. Thieves. Backstabbers. They think they can throw stones and hide their hand, but everybody is watching them. That everybody is seeing everything unfold in front of everybody's eyes. Nothing is hidden. Nothing is really, truly hidden. Anything done in the dark is being brought to the light. Okay? Let's see. Let's tap in deeper. Yep, 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 yep. Y'all are moving forward regardless of these people trying to hold you back, trying to steal from you, trying to take you because they can't take nothing from you. I'm telling you, these people are trying to steal from you and put burdens on you so that you don't, you know, follow through with your plans. You will follow through with your plans because there's going to be people helping you. People wanted to see you sad, depressed, stagnant, okay? Not seeing or knowing which way to go. Not moving forward. But God got you. The Most High got you. All right. Let's see, Great Spirit. What is the um, chariot here? Because Spirit is saying, regardless of whatever the fuck is happening, you finna move forward. All right, you have all the tools that you need, given by the Most High Goddess and God, to move forward. All right, these people really could have been trying to manipulate you, manipulate you into believing that they love you, they fuck with you. None, of, none of that shit was true. We have the King of um, Wands here. Okay, this could be somebody else coming towards you like that, like this energy, but I'm also getting, it's you. You're moving forward. You got ideas, you got plans, and you're moving forward with them. Okay, you're in control of something here. These people, some of these people wanted to try to work with you to hurt you. That's, that was their plan. All along, that was their plan. To get back into your good graces, to fuck you up to hurt you i heard for one one last one last time no it's not gonna happen four of swords it's not gonna happen y'all are being quiet with your movements you're not telling people where you're going what you're doing because something is manifesting for you okay you're in deep meditation about the things that you wanted you people wanted you to struggle people are trying to See if you're struggling. They're trying to see if you're, if you're sad. And you're not. You're not. You may look sad, depressed to them. It's because you're quiet. It's because you're doing what you need to do in silence. You're working in silence. And I'm telling you, working in silence is bringing you to the wheel of fortune. Y'all are moving forward regardless. Regardless. Good things are happening for you regardless. Great Spirit, what is the um, Queen of Swords, please? People are really hiding their hands, bro. And it's for some fucked up shit. Like, these people are fucked up. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles. What you give is what you get. Period. Alright? And y'all are attracting better in your life. Look, this is a, um, 
some of y'all are making a choice in love here maybe it may have taken a little bit for y'all to make a choice or it's taking somebody to make a choice on you okay this could be you or somebody else that's going through this um energy or both of y'all all of y'all could be going through the same thing we have the death card here okay so something here is changing there's a change i heard an abrupt change so it could be abrupt for some of y'all okay this could be abrupt for some of y'all. Yeah, disappointment. Somebody's disappointed. Okay? Or they're disappointed about the fact that you're so discerning. You're not taking bullshit from other people anymore. You are asking now for what you're worth. You probably weren't doing this before. You're asking now for what you're worth. And... They're not taking anything less than, and people are disappointed. They're disappointed at the sword that you have now, because it's the sword of truth, and it's the sword that cuts through any lies, any bullshit. You're very discerning now, okay? Look at Page of Swords wanted to come back out. These people are watching you. Sad. Sad that you're moving forward, okay? Some of y'all could be coming into a new relationship, getting a new home, okay? Starting a new business. And these people are watching you upset. They're just like, damn, they have to walk away. They have to walk away. They have to change these circumstances or because you changed the circumstances, right? You're asking now for what you're worth, what you deserve. They're, they're like, it's, I'm getting walk of shame. And all they could do is watch you. That's literally all they could do. Watch you in depression. Watch you in sad. Or watch, watch you while being sad. Okay? They're disappointed. They're so disappointed that they could not fool you. They could not hoe you. They could not pull the wool over your eyes. We have the Six of Cups. All right. Soulmate. This is soulmate energy. Y'all are getting gifts. Y'all are being gifted by the divine. Because y'all have prayed. God, please. Most high, divine, please help me. Okay, these people are wicked. I've been going through so so much fuck shit. Going through so much pain. This gift is a gift that won't stop giving. It's a gift that won't stop giving. And I get it's because your heart is pure. Your intentions are pure. Okay? You're naturally a good person. Okay? Naturally a good person. And Spirit is saying, you need to walk away from these people. Okay? If you can't physically walk away, you need to emotionally detach. Look, 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 look what I'm saying about the sword of truth. Alright? Spirit is showing you what's real and what's not. Okay? Somebody may be coming in towards you with the truth here. Wanting to give to you. And this, this could be quickly. Somebody could be watching or could have been watching you for a while quiet not saying anything really just manifesting their growth their success so that they can come in and balance something out equally they're gonna they're showing or they're i don't know i feel like they're gonna tell you that they've been like disappointed or they've been in regret and they've just been watching you in regret okay but they've known that you're a, you're their soulmate and they, they're trying to tell you the truth about something here all right I'm just getting somebody regrets how they treated you. We have the emperor. Yeah, y'all are taking control of a whole situation, taking control of your lives, taking control of the direction that your um your life is going, where you're headed. Okay. I'm also seeing somebody taking control of a situation here so that they can tell you the truth, so that they can get back to their soulmate. Okay, with the hangman energy, they've seen things differently. They've had an awakening. They've had an awakening. We have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So y'all could be single, okay? Or this person could be single or something like that. Or they're trying to figure out if you're single. All right. But yeah, you see things clearly as well. You see things from another perspective. It's like, damn, these people really showed their ass. These people were trying to keep you hemmed up, Okay. They were trying to keep you tied up in some bullshit, all right? Or maybe this is somebody coming in and telling you that, you know, these people are trying to, you know, keep me locked down, keep me hemmed up, 
keep me stuck into a situation and they finally have opened their eyes to see the truth okay i mean you're also getting like people trying to keep you away from your destiny keep you away from people that you love or somebody that you want or something that you want to go for or go after i'm telling you man oh my goodness we have Hilarion at the bottom of the deck upright so there's a whole bunch of change because that's a card number five and then we have card number 15 the muse damn i haven't gotten this card in a minute it's been like a year or over so 15 it comes out to a number six so that's divine love i said card number six but this is card number six talking about divine yeah. i'm telling you spirit spirit is real i'm telling you i'm telling you okay so it came out upright it says the muse plays a song of upliftment and imagination the petals of inspiration drift upon the wind feeling the air i'm sorry filling the air with light and creativity this card shows a time of very heightened resourcefulness and inventiveness for you any creative project new or old can receive exceptional energy now from both you and from the universe yay call to the spirit muses and let them join you and the creator within to lift your projects to the skies oh now is the time i'm telling you now the time now is the time to go for what it is that you want and i feel like that's exactly what a lot of y'all are doing because it's being supported by the universe okay and the people and things that tried to hold you back before tried to lie about certain things maybe somebody lied about somebody that you know and try to keep you away from them but it's like you see the truth for what it is it's like you're quiet and you're just watching you're just i'm getting observing observation i'm getting somebody was under observation or something like that but it's like there was something in your heart that was like no you know what i'm saying like no something can't be something can't be the truth or like like you have something is meant for you and you knew it but you felt like all these people telling you oh no 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 are not supporting you that was your truth and it wasn't your truth what's next great spirit okay i'll pull the dragon thing love it i'm telling you you're the muse for a lot of people you're people's inspiration okay people love you regardless of whether um these people want to admit that shit to you or not the most high knows the truth and you know the truth okay you're here for a higher purpose you're not here for mundane shit for bullshit to just be doing earthly shit doing stuff to just put on for other people or for money or materialistic shit. No. You all have a higher purpose and you know this. Pray spirit. Thank you. What's at the bottom of the deck? It says the Morgan take action. Now is the time. Okay? Now is the time. Take action. I heard today. Take action today. Alright, so we have Andel Emotional Flow, card number 24. It's like a warning it's like y'all for real y'all need to get after it i'm here to get after it all right so it says the divine is running me feeling deep sadness having trouble expressing sadness and emotions to others judging emotions as negative and denying them refusing to cry not drinking enough pure water dehydrated dry quality to life judging tears and emotions as weak learning to let go needing to connect more to the element of water and its flow Feeling stuck, misjudged. A close friend will provide help and nurturing. So somebody's gonna help you here. Or somebody understands. I'm just I'm getting, yeah, gifts. Six. There's a lot of sixes in this reading. Six, 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 divine love and protection. Okay? That's also melanin. So some of y'all could be melanated beings. 
right? Six neutrons, six protons, six electrons. Okay, some people really could have, yeah, misjudged you. Six, six, six. People misjudge six, six, six all the time. They see you as evil or as fucked up or not mentally there or emotionally fucked up. But no, you are awakened. You're an awakened being. And this is just how awakened beings move. They see through the bullshit and they flow as such type shit. But spirit is saying, now it's time for you to flow somewhere else. <laughs> it's what I'm getting. It's time for you to flow somewhere else. All right. You all are not stuck. You all have all the resources. I'm telling you with the magician, you have all the resources that you need to get to where it is that you need to go to do what it is that you need to do. So take action without delay. Okay, there's something about the lovers here. Okay, yeah, this could be. Oh, did you block somebody? Y'all could have blocked somebody. Maybe emotionally or energetically or on social media. Um, you need to let your emotions flow, especially if you feel like you've been holding back emotions for somebody. Let it flow. All right, and our, or also I feel like somebody's about to let their emotions out about you or how they feel about you. I think I said that earlier. Okay, you are somebody's muse and they want to take action towards you. They're going to express these emotions to you and they're going to tell you the truth about something here. All right, well, that's what the divine is guiding them to do. Yeah. All right, so let's tap into the ancestors. I can see, let's tap in a bit deeper and see exactly what it is the ancestors want to let us know. But yeah, regardless of if you're moving forward alone or together with somebody else, okay, there is nothing and no one that can stop you. No, literally nothing. Honestly, the only person that can stop you or the only thing that can stop you right now in this energy is you. These people can lie, deceive all they want to, but what's yours is yours. What's meant for you is meant for you. And these people know that. These people know that. Some of y'all for real feel stuck or like you don't know where to go or like you're not seeing opportunities right now. Y'all might need to be a little bit patient or put in a little bit more work. Okay. Try just a little bit harder. Just a little bit. It's nothing too crazy. Because you're still being supported. It's just you got to do your part because the divine is doing theirs. Right? Always. It's all about co-creation. Look at broken spell work. People were trying to do spells on you, cast words on you, put their words on you. And all that shit is broken. It's because you see things for what it is. You see the truth of what it is. So now all that shit is broken. It's over with. Now that you see exactly who people are, what um, people have been doing to you, how they really feel and shit like that about you, it's over with. It's over with. Solar plexus okay broken spell work some of these people could be doing stuff could have been doing stuff over your solar plexus okay we got that message um a couple days ago about you won't break my soul okay these people will not break your soul because your spell work is broken <laughs> okay they won't break your soul because your soul you're popping and this is given by the most high so they can't take shit from you because it's given by a force that is bigger than them they said move on y'all are moving on from a situation here for sure for sure y'all are moving on from a situation here especially people that did spell work on you trying to force your will is what i'm getting people were trying to force your will or overpower your will or force you to move in directions you were not supposed to go okay these people are codependent or they try to make you codependent on them okay they're not strong they're not internally strong i'm telling you my ear is ringing so hard they're just not okay secret society okay they could be coming together with people in secret uh, these are all like people in a group 
okay? I'm just getting a group. It could even be a coven type shit. Damn. If y'all, there is a coven, right? I'm about to um expose this one coven because I, it came out in one of my readings. But it's called Girl Gang Coven. If y'all follow them, unfollow them. Because they have done a lot of spell work and all their energies came out in one of my readings. Bro, tell me why. Tell me why, right? Same day I put this reading out. Tell me why. They stay in the UK. Tell me why. Tell me why, bro. Uh, fangs came out in the reading. It said literally it spelled out the word fangs, right? Tell me why. Because on the... the um, avi the profile picture whatever for years it was um vampire fangs why why the same day she changed it to her physical profile like her face and everything hmm i'm doing an investigation over that okay because same day as well tell me why she was watching my story she watches all my shit but never likes nothing come on now ever since i Ever since I um, followed her, because she had posted me on her page for um, Black History Month, fucked up shit has happened to me, okay? So if y'all follow them, or if you know of them, look, they need to be reported, okay? Anyway, so we have self-acceptance. Y'all yeah, accept yourselves. Y'all accept everything that's been going on, okay? These people may have wanted you to feel less than or less confident in yourself so that you can depend on them okay they were really really trying to fuck with your confidence trying to fuck with your solar plexus for real trying to make you feel like you can't do it alone like you can't do it at all like you don't have the power and you do you are enough you are enough you are enough you have enough you are more than enough all right and these people try to make it seem like you ain't shit. You're nothing. And it's all lies. Because you're everything in the eyes of the divine. And to the in the eyes of other people. But they don't like that. They don't like that. They're narcissists. Okay? They're narcissistic. And that's just what they do. They try to make it seem like one. it's one thing, but it's really another. Okay, y'all are coming into a soulmate for real. Y'all are headed towards a soulmate or a soulmate is headed towards you, Six of Cups. Okay? I also get that um, there could be a soulmate coming towards you that has been watching you. They're, they're studying you or something like that. Yeah. It's at the bottom of the deck. Good karma. Y'all are getting good karma. I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you. Spirit is telling you. You ain't even gotta listen to me. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful. I love I told you. I'm telling you. There's nothing and no one that can stop you from moving forward. People may have wanted to stop you from finding love. Being with the person you're supposed to be with. Going after your goals. You know, doing work you're supposed to be doing type shit. Like, I'm getting y'all really be trying to, like, y'all would want to help humanity. And some people are trying to make you, like, stop your progress or stop stop your forward movement and keep you stuck in old ways. I'm getting old ways. You all cannot be stopped. <laughs> okay. Spirit is urging you, like, look, accept yourself, love yourself. You are who you are. You are who you are. And that's just that on that. All right. And if they can't accept you for who you are and what you do and the work that you do, then fuck them. Move on. Because spirit already showed you what's what and what's not. Right? I think y'all already see what it is. Y'all already see y'all gathered up enough evidence type shit like you've seen enough that's what i'm getting you've seen enough you know what it is and what it ain't so now you're moving on all right and if y'all have to cry about it cry about it 
okay release but you have to release all right you have to release it and go because something is too much something is too much or it's been too much right and these people have been unfair to you is what i'm saying there's been a lot of unfair treatment but spirit is gifting you and giving you everything that these people tried to take away from you or these people wanted from you or some shit so congratulations <laughs> We have the letter P. We have the letter Z. We have the letter D. We have the East. We have the letter R. We have the letter G. We have the letter S. We have the letter J. We have something happening between one to four months. We have the letter D. We have the letter F. And we have something happening on Sunday. Bottom of the deck is the letter L. K. Let's pull out the letters, all the letters. Mm. Yeah, I'm hearing some people didn't want you to believe in yourself. Why did I pull out one to four months? That could be a really big thing for y'all. So within the month or between one to four months. So the first quarter type shit. I'm just saying first quarter or something like that. People, yeah. Anyways, okay. Let's see here. Do we have, we have no vowels at all. Okay, somebody was trying to bullshit you. Okay, these people are bullshitters. Um, or you know this, this somebody or these people are lying to you. <sighs> yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure what kind of words we're gonna be getting today. But these are all first middle last names, okay, for all the people that it um, applies to. Yeah, this is about movement. Okay, y'all are gonna need a GPS or somebody's putting in an address or GPS and a GPS to go somewhere. Okay, or y'all will be using a GPS today or something like that. Okay, but this is all about movement. So you will be traveling somewhere that you don't know, okay? And for some of y'all, it's like in the east somewhere. Or y'all are from the east. Or you'll be traveling east, southeast. I don't know. Y'all take it as a resonance. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, y'all. I can't really see, see too much like that. It's just about movement. Y'all have to go. And like they just said, take action. It's about it's all about action right now. All right.
because I know I think BP is like gas or oil or something like that I think so yeah y'all need to make sure that you have enough gas in your tank to get to where you're going okay I'm getting off. I can't see too too much from this. But um let's, yeah, let's tap into the Zodiac Oracle. Spell work has been broken. Wow. Wow. Now you can move forward because you see the truth. And that's what happens every time you see the truth. Every time you get out of an illusion is what it's looking like. If somebody was trying to elude you or something like that or hide who they really are, hide um, their intentions or something like that, how they feel for real about you. And now you see the truth. So now the spell's been broken. like yeah hold on hold on <laughs> okay okay bottom of the deck we have air element so this is gemini libra aquarius energy this is also the mental okay yep 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 so let's see here what energies we have so we have the uh, element of fire so yeah, solar plexus is the element of fire. Okay, knight of wands is the element of fire. Okay, so you all are working with your fire element. I also feel like y'all need to get some sunlight. Okay, for real. Go outside. All right, but this is um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have Aries out here. Okay, so this is about... Honestly, this is the moon energy. This is about eclipse energy. So this eclipse energy is like, it's like it's putting some fire under your ass is what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting. It's making you want to move, making you want to be more selfish because I feel like some of y'all were too selfless. All right. You're thinking about yourself more. All right. You're not leaving yourself behind or something like that. All right. I'm getting you matter. My ear is ringing so hard. You matter. We have Saturn, okay? 10th house, this is about your work, okay? Yeah, nine plus one is 10. I didn't even know it said 19, but I know that um, Capricorn rules Saturn and that's the 10th house. So this is about your work for a lot of you all. Okay, what you do for work, how other people see you, and other people see you in a bright light. And it's like, it's some of those people that are closest to you that don't, they don't want others to see you like this. Like they want to I heard smear campaign or something like that. They want to smear your name. Okay, lie on you. All right, have you stuck and stagnant? All right. No more. No more. These people are receiving karma for what they have done to you. All right, and you're also getting good karma. You're getting good karma and they're not getting good karma. Okay? Yeah, some of these people really could attract to wow hold up okay because spirit is saying something else I, there's something i wasn't looking at we'll um finish this after you're getting good karma because low-key these people wanted to be you these people were copying you copying off your energy right lying on you saying all this bullshit but it's it's something wasn't adding up everything that they were saying it was shit it was bullshit they were just talking shit and people are seeing that People are seeing that the work that you put out, the things that you do, your energy speaks for itself. And they were trying to speak for you. That's bullshit. Okay? So, Spirit is saying, hey, you're in this energy. Get in that energy of being free. All right? So, y'all are getting a new car. This is something about a car, y'all. Something about a car or just like moving forward here. Or you have a car or a new car. Somebody was trying to fight you about a car, but it's always been yours. All right, okay, there's something about dreams. 
Your dreams are telling you everything you need to know. Okay, these people have been stalking you, watching you. All right, trying to see if you're going to fail. But you've been divinely protected from these people, like, doing candle magic on you and shit like that. And praying against you, praying on your downfall. All right. So there's a homewrecker here. And this homewrecker could, um, some of these people might have, like, dark skin, hair, or eyes. Okay. That's just part of them. Wow. Spirit is saying don't trust them because they're part of the spiritual warfare warfare that's been put on your roots your root chakra and it's literally people that you would never expect to be doing shit to you you would never expect these people to be doing this shit to you for some of you it's your own fucking family and these people are from your past life they came from another life to try and fuck you up in this life and spirit is saying you're not having it okay you're not having it spirit ain't having it the most high the divine ain't having it all right so we have Venus. So y'all have a beautiful spirit, okay? Y'all like beautiful things. And um, I'm just getting like beautiful things come to you or something like that. And some people may see you as materialistic, but that's not even what it is. I'm getting clean. Y'all are very clean. Y'all are clean people. Or you like clean things, a clean aesthetic type shit. All right? Um, but it's also something, something about your money or how you spend your money. I'm also getting like maybe retail therapy maybe that's a, um, something on you we have libra venus rules libra okay so this is about relationships so you could be very beautiful all right or just very attractive or you're attracting an attractive um soulmate or you have an attractive soulmate or somebody that you're going to marry sagittarius movement okay y'all are moving you're gaining the clarity gaining the wisdom gaining the knowledge to move forward here you have everything that you need to go forward and then we have cancer so any of these energies could be your soulmate or they could be the people that have been trying to fuck with you but this is about the home this is about the roots fourth house energy family energy this is about healing your emotions all right crying it out all right letting what you need to let go go because you've seen everything you've seen how these people treat you you see how these people really think about you you see how these people really feel about you why keep holding on there's no need let him go let it all go okay let it all go because you will be rewarded you will be rewarded all right so let's tap in to the angels of atlantis and see what advice we could get from the angels man i'm telling you you have broken a generational curse you have broken some spell work that was put over your family is what i'm getting there is some root work done okay this could have been in past lives type shit for real for real um but you have learned enough all right you've learned enough you got the lesson now you caught it you caught on or something like that so you know what's up you know what's up somebody came into this life to try to destroy you and um it was the people closest to you it was somebody that was closest to you and you had to know exactly who it is because here's the thing it starts in the home first it starts in the home first okay y'all y'all have seen evil and wickedness in your home first hand before you went out into the world so you had to be discerning okay you had to learn from these people who who's for you and who's really not for you who you need to be patient with and who you need to just kick to the curb type shit all right y'all know y'all know that's what i'm getting y'all know now at least if y'all didn't know before y'all sure as fuck know now because spirit had to it's like it just spirit had to scream it out to you type shit this time around because i feel like many of y'all maybe you ran back to these people a lot of a lot of times or you couldn't stop fucking with certain people or something like that but it's time yeah now's the time okay your plans will work out don't worry about your plans being foiled or anything like that it cannot be foiled it can't be stopped you cannot be stopped all right you are unstoppable period 
Anything else for your spirit? Yeah. Bottom of the uh, deck is Archangel Haniel Hope. All right, so don't lose hope. Don't lose faith, okay? Do not. Don't. Keep moving forward. Keep going because you got this. And you're being guided. You're being divinely guided and helped and protected. All right, so let's... We got a shit ton of cards. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, so we have Archangel Jophiel forgiveness. Forgive this. Forgive these people, okay? Because they don't know what they do, for one. They're not... They don't know... Some of them, yeah, they know what they're doing, but it's like they, they're so, like in this world of narcissism like they're so codependent they're so weak that they can't help it so you just gotta be like you know what it is what it is you know what i'm saying i'm letting you go in love look we got that card where's it at i'm letting you go in love and i'm you know i'm heading in my own way i'm going my own way okay so yeah i'm also getting y'all are attracting new love okay this soulmate here the six of cups energy here okay where's the six of cups let me put it all together love and this is real love someone that's not gonna try and manipulate you into loving them do spell work on you to try and love them that's bullshit that's not real love that's fake love that's control and love is not control Love is about accepting, allowing. If somebody wants to leave, let them leave. You can't make somebody not leave or not love you or not want to fuck with you. If that's, if that's how they feel, that's how they feel type shit. Let them go. Leave them alone. All right? And then we have Archangel Gabriel, inspiration. You, you inspire so many people. I'm telling you, I told you in the beginning. Y'all are an inspiration to other people. To many people, actually. Okay? And other people didn't want to have you be seen in this light but it's too bad because the world sees you in this light who cares if the the little people in your life don't don't see you like that the world sees you better the world sees you okay they see you for who you truly are they see the light that radiates from within you from within your heart okay we have archangel Haniel integrity i'm telling you there's something about integrity here so if somebody was trying to hem you up or trying to like do some fuck shit to you, look, they said you're um what is it? What did it say? It said you will win if your position is one of integrity. The scales of balance, justice, queen of swords is out here, ace of swords is out here, your sword of truth. Okay? You're, you've been telling the truth, you've been the truth the whole time. You live in your truth. Okay? And that that's what sets you apart. Because you're not living a lie. You're not living for other people. You're living for the most high. Period. All right. Then we have Archangel Gabriel Grace. I'm hearing something about bowing out gracefully. Ooh, to bow out gracefully. What's that song? Mm -mm -mm. Whenever you call me, I'll be there. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Okay. You'll be around. But you're not going to be around no more for these people type shit. Because these people used you, I'm getting. They used you and abused you. They were selfish and greedy. And you may have even prayed for these people. Prayed for good things to happen. And good things were happening for these people. But people prayed on your downfall. Look, it's being returned to sender. I'm telling you. Okay, the spirit is also saying pray for your own protection. Pray for these people, Okay. Pray that they start to see the light, see the error of their ways, okay? So when we have Archangel Metatron wisdom, y'all have gained so much wisdom from this that it's like, I could spot bullshit from a mile away. Not even just, you can help other people spot bullshit from a mile away, okay? You know certain energy frequencies and signatures, and you're just like, mm, I've seen this before. I've been through this before. Like, y'all are helping people okay in a totally different way this is ancient you have ancient knowledge okay some of y'all are very old this is like i'm also getting like old people or y'all are an old soul or something like that y'all have been here before y'all have been here before y'all are travelers your spirit travels okay your spirit travels even in dreams okay okay we have archangel Jophiel joy 
spirit is saying y'all are gonna be so happy if you're not already happy right now um there's like buddings of things happening like there's little things happening here and there and y'all are just like oh things are coming together oh my gosh like all praise type shit is what i'm getting your solar plexus you're still happy depression is like going away okay you're coming back into self now we have archangel uriel abundance look the tree of life okay this is this is spirit pouring into you this is the wisdom that you've acquired the healing that you've acquired all right the money that you acquired and this is all from the divine and it's all being poured into you so that you can use that for generations to come i'm telling you i'm telling you all are generational curse breakers i promise watch yesterday's reading that energy is literally talking about y'all breaking a generational curse healing these generational wounds all right all right so let's see here yeah bro y'all have been here before why is this card like this though is it turned around for a reason though what is it isis past life this situation involves your past life memories i'm telling y'all have been through this before and some people came back from your past life to teach you this lesson maybe you didn't learn this lesson in a past life and these people really tried it <laughs> but not again not this time okay so osara fertility it's a time it's the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions it's the perfect time spirit is saying now now is the time spirit, that's why they keep saying to go you need to go like the moon energy okay this is when you're supposed to be planting your seeds okay it's time to go it is time to go it's time to let go it's time to let go of the emotions it's time to let go of these people these places these things that no longer serve you okay and tap into the new paradigm that is waiting for you the abundance that is waiting for you this new life that is waiting for you we have irene peace there's no need to worry everything is working out wonderfully all right no need to worry because people these people they don't have no peace inside so they try to fuck with your peace but you're a peaceful being this is your energy. This is what you radiate, right? So stay in that. Stay in that. Don't let anybody fuck with your peace. In fact, the divine is fucking with other people's peace for fucking with your peace. So they're being urged to leave you the fuck alone. Okay, we have Rhiannon, sorceress. You're a magical person who can manifest your fair intentions into reality. We did get the magician out there or out here earlier. So whatever you're wanting, you're getting. Okay, I'm here. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Okay? That's exactly. That's exactly what it is. It's just like magic. I'm telling you, Ariana Grande, she is a light worker. For real. Um, cuz I'm thinking about just like magic now. Um, something about her intentions. Um, fuck, what is it? My my head is like my neck is tingling, my spine is tingling. Um, but she said uh what did she say fuck i have to listen to that song she says something about her intentions uh fuck 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 wake up in my bed i have to sing the song i'm just trying to have a good day think it in my head and it happens how it should and good karma my aesthetic okay good karma my aesthetic Keep my conscience clear, that's why I'm so magnetic. Manifest it, I finessed it. Oh, wow, just like magic. Just like it's just like magic. Y'all be manifesting things in your life just like magic. Because good karma is your aesthetic, your intentions are clear. That's why you're so magnetic. Ah. Okay, spirit, is there anything else you want to give to the uh, collective? I'm sweating. This is a real, like, damn, this is really close. And people want to know why things don't manifest in their life to stay. It's because their intentions are not pure. I'm telling you. Is there anything else, Great Spirit, that you want to give to the collective as advice? Yes, ma'am. We have. You have Vesta at home. Your household situation is improving either through move, 
for a healthy change in your occupancy. Y'all are finna move. I'm telling you, movement is huge on this table here. It's huge. It's a big thing. So y'all are getting a new home, okay? Or somebody could be moving out, okay? Somebody that's been giving you issues or you're about to move out because people have been giving you issues, okay? Y'all are about to get a new home regardless of like the area that you're in. It's a, it's a, it's problematic, okay? Um, yeah. All right, so let's see what else we got. What else did you divine want to tell you or tell us? So we have Dan or Diana, focused intentions. What did I say about intentions? Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you'll make your mark. Y'all are manifesting what you're focusing on. Focus on what you want to manifest. It's coming, I'm telling you. Do not get distracted. Do not be distracted by the bullshit that's around because it's bullshit. Like literally, it's literally bullshit. It's not real. None of it is real. None of these people are real. You're the only real one. You're the only real one. My ear is ringing hard than a bitch. You're the only real one. I guess it's a group of people in this group. You're the only real one in this group or something like that. Or it could be you and somebody else or you and a couple people or something like that. But y'all are the only real ones. Y'all are the only real ones. We have A and Leap of Faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Action. Don't delay. Take a leap of faith. How many times does the divine have to reiterate this information to y'all? Because some of y'all are stalling, okay? You feel like you're being held back. You're only holding yourselves back mentally, okay? And like your will, you gotta, you gotta have the will to move forward type shit. Because once you start going, nothing's gonna stop. Everything stops unless you stop. We have Kuan Yin compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that's within everyone. So this is about compassion and forgiveness, okay? You, I know y'all feel for these people. Some of y'all may not feel for these people. But don't let these people or what they did to you um, harden you or harden your heart, okay? Y'all y'all made it out the mud or y'all got it out the mud or something like that. Y'all are so connected to the divine. Y'all have like a natural high type shit. It's a lotus. Like the, they used to get high. I'm, I'm just seeing y'all are ancient. This is Egyptian, Egyptian blood. Some of y'all have Egyptian blood, African blood, okay? Y'all are on a whole nother level. Y'all are on a different timeline than these people, I'm telling you. We have Damara, guiding children. You're good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So maybe y'all are really good at helping children, all right? Or you can mentor, you're a mentor or something like that. Or um, you're just an old soul, like I said. Some of y'all have been here before, and it dates all the way back to Egypt, okay? Like, that was the last greatest empire or something like that. Because I don't see the Greek empire as being one of the greatest. Because they really just took everything it, that Egypt did and twisted it and turned it backwards, okay? But y'all are teaching younger souls okay regardless of your age you could be my age and be teaching people twice your age but that's wisdom right we have that here you all are wise old souls okay some like i said some of y'all came from egypt or you were in egypt in one time okay past life your past life was in egypt okay Okay, but I'm also getting that the, the divine is guiding you as well, guiding you forward. You are the divine's child. You are the divine's children, and you're being guided forward. We have Ishtar boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demand on your time and energy. These people are energy vampires, and you have to learn to say no, okay? And that's what this eclipse is saying and showing you and teaching you. You have to be more selfish with you. You have to love yourself more because some of y'all, so loving, so giving. Queen of Cups is out here. Y'all give more. Y'all were giving more than y'all were getting back. No more. That's no more. That is no more. Because these people didn't appreciate it. And they didn't appreciate you. And they thought you were, gonna, you were gonna keep doing and being the way you were. And God said, fuck that. Fuck no. That's why the Most High showed you the truth about these people. They were not changing. They were never going to change. Okay? And you have to move forward. 
And this is the last time. This is the last time. We have Isol, undying love. The love you've shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So I'm getting that you love these people regardless, okay? You love them regardless of whatever bullshit they're doing. It's just part of, it's part of the plan, okay? They're a part of the plan. But I'm also getting whoever this new soulmate is, it's an instant understanding. Like y'all instantly, it's an instant connection or something like that. Instant recognition. Y'all recognize one another by your hearts. It's your heart. It's a heart connection. We have Sula's bodies of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. Excuse me. So yeah, some of y'all may need to move by water or you will be moving by water or something like that. Um, or take a walk by water or something. Yeah. I'm also getting drink more water. Stay hydrated. Yeah, because the healing thing says stay hydrated. So, yeah. The healing thing. I'm sorry. I'll be just like not using my words sometimes. Um, this, this card, emotional flow. Maybe some of y'all like, if it's raining or something like that, like maybe you cry in the water, cry in the shower or something like that. I don't know. So let's see how we can take care of ourselves during this cycle. This cycle of movement, of forward progression, okay? Free Spirit, how can we take care of ourselves? keep that and i don't usually but i will this time because of how they came out anything else is there anything else that you want to relate to the um collective face here all right bottom of the deck is music card number 37 so spirit is saying to um listen to certain music that's going to put you in this energy of movement of getting your energy up and make you get out of depression don't listen to depressing music okay because that's going to fuck with your solar plexus like i'm just telling you now all right and just like the song that i was singing like listen to music like that music is going to push you forward and we got a ton of cards let's see so we have soak in a bath so maybe spirit is urging you to this is the body of water that you need to be surrounded in okay so y'all need to take a bath or a spiritual bath okay this is the perfect time for that cleanse and clear your energy okay all right then we have sound healing so listen to music with hertz okay sound healing singing bowls okay right now we're playing throat chakra music that's at seven something i forgot what it is if you know if you know what it is and put it in the box hold on i just gotta check out at 7:41. so 7:41 hertz for the throat chakra okay um truth it's all about truth speaking your truth living in your truth all right so this is going to help y'all speak your truth live in your truth okay so then we have card number 33 make a vision board so this is about vision isn't the whole chakra part of your vision no that's your third eye um but still speaking what you want into existence but it's also seeing what you want y'all are man master manifestors for real for real for real and it's just like magic literally you have create art so yeah some of y'all are really artistic some of y'all make music some of y'all are like you know, some of y'all draw paint okay do hair um yeah make videos okay y'all are really crafty that's what i'm getting we have build strength so some of y'all need to be working out okay but this movement here is it's a workout i'm getting this movement is a workout excuse me we have clear your energy field so yeah some of y'all need to um like some sage or palo santo or whatever healing herbs that you use to protect yourself 
to cleanse yourself, cleanse your vibes of certain people, places, and things, okay? Just so that um, they don't get attached to you. So we have card number 31, look to the stars. So there's something about the alignments in the ethers, the stars. The stars are aligned. I don't know. They could be aligned for you. Something is aligning or has aligned. Okay? So now is the time. Okay? There's something also about the moon. This moon cycle that we're in. This eclipse energy that we're in. Okay? Yeah. Because I'm seeing, I'm also seeing like the death card as the eclipse energy. Something has ended. Or something about you is like no more. You're not the same anymore. So then we have drink tea. Look, baby. <laughs> That's an everyday thing. Drink your tea. All right. And I'm getting something for your solar plexus. I'm telling you, I'm going to put y'all on today. Drink some chai every day. Every day. Drink chai. I love chai. Chai is my shit. And it's perfect for solar plexus. All right. Or anything with ginger. Anything with ginger. All right. And then we have energy work. I'm telling y'all, y'all need them. It's all about energy. Whatever points that y'all need to work on, you know what points you need to work on, okay? So that's what I have for y'all. I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to you later.